Oh, hi guys. You can see from the the video just shown there, it's uh, I'm back in Hanoi. It's been a long time, over a year since I've been back. So what I thought I'd do is do a short walk around the old quarter area, show you any differences you might notice. <laughs> Quite a lot actually. I'm, uh, I've been walking around early this morning, just arrived today and it's been quite shocking to be honest but during the day the old quarter is quite quiet <coughs> now then my first port of call is this lady here this is Ha Ha's Beerhoy now she hopefully is still there but I doubt it to be honest because she was only there really for the foreigners and there's no foreign tourists around as you can imagine so what I'm going to do I'm going to show you around the old quarter and show you some some places that are not there anymore I don't know if you know this area this is Marmay Street you may remember this building if you've been here before I won't mention the name but that's that's gone that went pretty much March 2020 in fact it was probably earlier than that Medallion Hotel that's gone locked up there's not a lot of action going on uh, regarding businesses there's just the usual in Hanoi which is food and drink and we all know how good that is now during the day it's going to give you a little bit of a different feeling because you know in the evenings Hanoi Old, Old Quarter livens up and springs to life but I wanted to show you during the day first give you an idea what's happening now I'm quite disappointed with some of these places because it's just kind of you know di dilapidated it's uh, it's it's gone downhill a lot there's, there's a lot of shutters down with graffiti signs falling off there's still places open but just probably until later in, in the night that they'll be open not during the day now that was, I think that's a, a, a club. I've been in there before, but it wasn't like that when I went in a few years ago. This is the tattoo shop, it's still going. I usually go for a few beers here. Sit here and watch everything go by, because you're sat on a corner. So you're, you're, you're watching the world go by here, so it's a perfect little place. So if you want a little beer, just sit here. Sit here and I'll have a beer. That's an old friend's travel agency, it's now food shop, oh, it's actually the Donner Kebab shop there Viet, I'll give you a, a shout out Hotel, closed Prague Pub, closed but there's still plenty of places to, to eat you, you never starve in Hanoi, never it's always, uh, there's always places to see I, I'm just going to, I'm just going to basically swap from side to side and show you what's open and what isn't <clears throat> looks like something's coming soon here I'm not sure what that is there was an Indian down here I don't say that anymore I've just seen a, a can of beer Hanoi beer hoi Hanoi <clears throat> so we're just coming up to Lung Nok Quen we used to have a, an office just to the left here I'll take you down that little street and then come back just to show you what's going on some of you who have been to Hanoi will recognise some of these places Blues Hostel, this used to be a hostel here it used to be another name, I can't remember what it was called but I used to stay there, in fact that's, that's where I met my wife because this is the, the cafe that she used to work in and we had an office I think <laughs> yeah, number 5A that was our office. It used to have steps leading up to the, the next floor. You've still got your, your barber shop and things like that for the locals. Now if you wanted your donuts, remember the ladies that walk around with the big baskets? You don't buy them from them, you buy them from here. This is the this is the place where you buy the donuts. These are the be the best donuts. Nice and fresh, they've been dipped in the fat there. Beautiful. I'll get one of them later, 
I just want to show you that place. I think that's number one, number one, Lung Nok Quen. You still don't get rid of the uh, the mental drivers, but uh, <laughs> so I'll point you to the street. You don't want to look at me. You can still get your doner kebabs up. My God, I uh, when I first came to Hanoi before I even started the travel agency, I lived on doner kebabs. Crazy it is as it is. So what I'll do is I'll do a quick short to here because I know that a lot of you will know and hope that the New Day restaurant is still open. Well, it is, guys. It's, it's a superb restaurant. You're definitely never going to see this die. They just cut down on the uh, staff while there was no foreigners. So, But this is the place to come if you want lunch or dinner in, uh, in the old quarter. Fantastic food. You can sit down and choose off the menu in here. Or you can choose a buffet. Buffet here. Hi. How are you? Thank you. <laughs> So that's the buffet, and yeah, there is actually a video I did, I think it was last year, of me uh, sampling the buffet dinner in that restaurant. So do check out the link in the description, and you'll see. So now uh, we're on to Lung Nok Quen. We've got the temple si uh, flag there. <coughs> I don't know if you noticed some of these uh, businesses that you remember, souvenir shops. Now, I won't go down this street, Dowsy 2, yet. I'll go around there on the way back from Hang Boom. But that's uh, still got the Kom Suan, which is the uh, Port Ribs restaurant. As you can see, a lot of shutters down, but actually that High Sam Seafood, I think that's still available. They don't open until the evenings. There's actually a hotel open, can't believe it. This wasn't here before. Uh, now, I don't know if it, how long it's been here, but I, I never saw this oh, a year ago, so... Wood-fired pizza, that sounds good. It's not something I'd be eating in Vietnam, to be honest. I, uh, I enjoy the, the Vietnamese food. Okay, so uh, we're walking down Lung Nok Quen, and you, this is the beer street, basically. As you can see, every shop here is beer. And on an evening, tonight or the next night, I'll come down and I'll show you how it looks in the evening because it'll look a lot lot different these cars will be gone the bikes will be gone and in, it, in the place of the uh, cars and bikes will be stools and tables and bar and, and people lots of people eating beer uh, drinking beer and eating bar snacks So do write a comment below if you recognise anything. The Circle case still here. I don't know how that survived, but they must have locals that use it, so... Now, one of these bars here... <coughs> they used to do a lot of business, make a lot of money. Basically, the whole area around here would be full of chairs and tables, and you can't actually get a vehicle down here. This whole area will be filled with beer, stools, all the way around here. This is basically Beer Junction. All the way around here. Superb place to go in an evening. Pre-pandemic and hopefully post-pandemic it's going to be much better. Now last weekend it was very, very busy. And I'm hoping that's going to be the case this weekend. So I'll, I'll film it in the evening for you as well in a separate video. That's actually our old office. Um, it was uh, quite a tiny one. Was it that one? <laughs> There's no numbers on it now. That's for three uh, that, that yeah it was that one. We used to have a bit of a a daily battle with the beer hoy ladies putting their stools and signs in our area. It was just a big battle. I walk down this bit here. There's still beer places down here as well. There's still a few of those little hotels here, but I've just bumped into one of the guys that owns one and they're not obviously open. They just, uh, he's just keeping the, uh, keeping the place rented out for when it does start to kick off again. So I'll go back down here. I'll walk down, down Tahien this way and then I'll walk around Hangbun. 
So I'm just going to do a bit of the all quarter for this video. I won't be going crazy. Because I'll see, you'll see this at night and you'll see how different it looks. I mean, look at it now, it's dead. But you see that all these chairs and tables, they're, they're all ready to come out later anyway. Many, many bars down here. This is basically Bar Street, if, if, if you like. There's food further down. There's lots of tables and chairs that will come out from the, the restaurants there. But as you can see, it's, uh, it's pretty, pretty quiet. Pretty disappointing, but you know, I'm hoping it's going to liven up later and I'll show you that and you'll see the difference. They've got restaurants on both sides here. This used, these guys used to do the, uh, the quail. Uh, my wife used to take people to see the quail, have the quail for their food tour, the street food tour. So if you do want a street food tour, my wife has many, many other places to go to. Check out the link in the description at www.foodtourshanoi.com You see we've got the uh, snack places still open. They never die, do they? <coughs> now this this end is where all the uh, the late bars were. Uh, I don't I didn't go in them because they were. It wasn't my cup of tea at the time. This is like Tom's bar, and I have no idea if they're open or not. Probably see tonight. I'm still away. I'm in my fifties now. I've got a bed at ten. <laughs> the Tet Bar. These are the places that you'll probably see either open tonight or done in. Okay, so that way is heading back towards Hang uh, uh, Mame. I'm actually on Hang Boom now. I can see some places are getting renovated, so I'm not sure what they're going to be. I do know there was a Bang Me place, Bang Me P. Oh, these, this, this guy's called Mr. 2000, Mr. High Neen. He used to stick his hand out for 2000 all the time when he went past our office. <laughs> he just, just, like, just wanted 2000. I don't know what for. So you got the shoppy delivery people for the locals. Oh, police are out. What's going on here? Something going on. Big problem. But you see there's a there's a hotel there, hostel, that's not that's not open anymore. I don't know what's going on here. He's getting his get his motorbike taken probably. Yeah, what's that? Shall I slow down? <laughs> I don't know what's going on there. Yeah, there's the Bang Me P, that place there. That did great uh, baguettes, but they've closed down now. You see the signs hanging off, you know, it's disappointing. <clears throat> but these are the things that uh, has gone on during the, uh, the pandemic, you know, places are closed. This place, Saigon, be a Saigon chill. Looks like you get a some sort of roll or sandwich or something there. And then you can go up on the rooftop there. Have a beer. Watch the world go by. Well I did know this. Because uh, I know this guy. <laughs> hey, hello, it's a chow. Hey. Ha ha do. Chi ha. Chi ha do. All right. Ah, okay. Toy night, toy night, uh, uh, own beer, eh? Uh, oh. This is my house. Ah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Where are you from? Your burger, burger. Where are you from? England. England? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll come later, yeah? Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> I actually thought that was someone else. <laughs> but anyway, we still got the baguette ladies, look. Oh, what's she cooking? Oh, it's nice. Oh, that's nice. Hello. Hi. Uh, ten of these later. Bang chung. Bang chung. Ah, bang chung. Oh yes, yes, yes. The tech cake, tech cake. No, sorry, no, sorry. I've eaten already, so I'm, uh, I'm full. You've got the, you got your cafe still open. That's, it's a big cafe culture, as you know, in uh, Hanoi because of the, because of the uh, French baguettes, pate, 
uh, you name it, they've got it here. There's the shoe shine guy. <laughs> I remember him from years ago. I did bump into uh, another shoe shine guy earlier, but he's actually uh, he's actually now um, a Seom driver, which is uh, a motorbike taxi guy. Now I'm just passing the place I've just had my lunch. Now this place is called Bangkwong Phu Lee. Now Phu Lee is just on the way near near our house in Nam Ding. Uh, it's just on the way. But Bangkwong Phu Lee is basically Bangkwong, which is the uh, the noodle. Uh, uh, bits and then with the uh, fried uh, onions but the Fuli bit which is the city they put uh, Bun Cha on top what a, what a dish what a dish beautiful so if you ever want to try that out you go to this place on Dowsy 2 I'm just walking down Dowsy 2 now I'll show you the name because one word is the Dao with a D and the one word is with a zoo Zui, uh, Dao Z, Dao Z 2. The D doesn't have a line through it. I'll explain that one day. <laughs> but this is the uh, the pork ribs place. Oh yeah, and the uh, Kom Suan Fu Li. There's a video about that on the uh, in the playlist. No, thank you. Cheap photo. Cheap cheap photo. Oh, Divo, Divo. Right. I'm telling them I'm walking. So back on to uh, Lung Not Quinn. I get sidetracked when I'm talking, but uh, apologies for that. I don't get sidetracked when I'm booking your trips. So guys, uh, these videos are now to uh, to help boost our our image on uh, in the in the public eye, basically, to just show you that we are available for for anyone who wants to uh, book a, a trip with us. Yeah, we offer anything from single trips, day tours, street food tour, two or three weekend, two, two or three day weekend breaks, or a full package of one week, two week, three week, four week, whatever you want. We do the whole thing and we do it through the whole of Vietnam. So do please click on the subscribe button and check out our website as well at travelagenthanoi.com. If you want to email us, Booking at travelagenthanoi.com. Right, so this is beer, beer corner again. But this time we'll go left into Tahien. Tahien is the one that goes down to that area there. But it carries on down here. This area will all be full of tables and chairs as well. This this area there. Oh man, it's rammed. And if you if you put your leg <laughs> slightly into the next bar, they get upset about it. It's really territorial here, really rough. And that's what I was talking about with, uh, with my uh, office on Lunokwen. The lady next door. They didn't want you moving into their area, but they didn't care about moving into yours. It was a one-way street, according to them. And hence why we, we we closed in the end. Okay, so I don't know if you remember, but there were some officers here. They've gone. No more. So this is Hang Back or Silver Street. Actually, looks like Dessert Street at the moment. We've got uh, a few dessert shops here, which are tremendous got a lot of dishes in there you can try I won't walk down that way because I want to walk down towards the lake and uh, around that area that's where I'll I'll finish off and pick you up on the next video to show you Huang Kim Lake and the French Quarter and other areas as well so this video is just the old quarter hey these get this this is um this is off which is the snails you have that there's a snail there. it's really really tasty really nice and you get uh, you get big ones and small ones and you get little toothpicks as well to, to pick them out with very handy so guys have you have you recognized anywhere please write in the comments below now then i'll take you down one of the back alleys 
Westerners don't normally come down here, but you get a chance to see something different and you, you'll see there's a bit of work going on, renovations. These guys in orange are the power guys. There used to be a few hotels down here, but they've all closed down. This is kind of, this is a very local area. You don't get to much down here for foreigners. There are there is a small market down here at certain times of the day, but uh, you're not going to see that now. That's, that's earlier on in the day. There's always food going on somewhere. I don't know what that is? Some kind of soup. Hello. Hello. Hey. These guys are having a soup. Oh, it looks like uh, fish. There we go. These places are great. Fresh soup. Fresh soup. Really, really nice. Hello. 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 You wonder where I'm going, but uh, if you know Hanoi, you might know, you might recognise the street. Somebody's selling their clothes. <laughs> Not their clothes. <laughs> they don't empty their wardrobe out and go, oh, I'm going to sell all this. They're selling clothes. Such a presenter, aren't I? Anyway, guys, uh, we're going around the, the corner from that alley, really. I think uh, this area is really cool. You've got, uh, you've got the chicken stuffed with roses. Woo! Sticky rice. And you got some, oh, some great food going on here. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's roasting it. Lovely. Now then, we'll go down this street because this is uh, ah, one thing I wanted to show you something that they've got going on here. They've got screens up. Looks like uh, Covid type screens to protect uh, the owners selling the fruit. You've got fruit sellers, you've got flower sellers, and they've all got these screens up with the barcode on there. Now, I haven't been told I need to scan the barcode anywhere, but uh, it seems like it may be all over for that now. But you see, all the way down there, they've got some more screens. But I'll walk you down this next street because there's some great pork crackling on this street. Unbelievable. You get a chance to get some of that. I think it's about 30,000 for 100 gram, something like that. It's really, really good. Better than you do in your own oven. Selling some tools. Some chow. Hey. Whoa, they look sharp. <laughs> There's screens up here and, and these are the uh, these are nice shrimp shrimp and fish. I've got my mask on so you won't see you won't see that but look at that. Some good oh there's a there's some pork. Got some great food here. It's uh, normally just takeaway. You don't uh, sit and eat it but you've got you've got uh, eggs and pork and oh that's uh, that's coconut coconut honestly if you get a chance to try that coconut and pork oh it's none eh? really none tasty lots of food here so as i say guys you don't you don't starve here <laughs> you got your raw meat as well on the table yeah that sort of yep, puts people off sometimes but uh you take it home you clean it it's fine all them fresh vegetables, beautiful. Okay, so coming down to flower part of the street, there's uh, plenty of flowers, and some of the, a lot of these are for uh, for funerals. I just saw a guy put three three uh, big big kind of uh, displays on the back of his bike, and I've seen those at uh, at funerals. So that's the kind of thing that. Uh, you get from there. That's Kalgo. How you pronounce it? Dibo, eh? Dibo. And we're now on to this area. Now, what I'll do is I'll walk you down this street towards the end of the night market street. 
Night markets uh, aren't going to be going on at the moment obviously, for obvious reasons, but uh, I'll take you to the end of that street just to show you where Huang Kim Lake is and then you'll see no, where, I, where I've been. And you can, we'll finish off there. Ready for the next video. So it's uh, been a longer video, but guys, I wanted to show you around, just show you what's, what's not, what's not there, what's there. Some hotels that's still here, but uh, mostly, especially inside the old quarry, they've gone. Just at the end of here, Dingliet, and Dingliet goes on to Tahian Street where I cut through that alley. I'll briefly show you that street here because they do still have some uh, souvenir shops open, which I, I wasn't expecting, but they've got a nice coffee shop here now. It's got it's got a few a few floors, so you get a chance to uh, have a look down at the street. These are Kumbinzan. Now Kumbinzan is uh, basically a working man's uh, buffet. It's really, really good food. My wife Nat doesn't enjoy doing it because it's low quality, but I love it. So as you can see, there's a lot of uh, actually wool shops and scarves, hats. It doesn't go on for far, for very long. It just goes on to there, and then you've got a few here. There used to be some travel shops down there. But you got some, got some shops there that are actually selling stuff. So they're probably waiting for you guys to come along and maybe buy some stuff, silk sharp, uh, scarves and stuff. Right, guys, I'll take you to the entrance to the lake. Basically, the the roundabout where the fountain is. Give you a quick glimpse of that, and that's where I'll start the next video. You may recognise this area here. There's no K it doesn't look like there's a KFC anymore. It used to be above that the HSBC. That was a camera shop just here. I think they've moved to here. Okay, so that is the start of Night Market Street, which is normally Friday, Saturday and Sunday. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'll leave you with a shot. One of the best views in Horn uh, King. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Please click subscribe and check us out in the next video. Cheers!